For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says the member of a truss are connected to the gusset plate. If the forces are concurrent at point O, determine the magnitudes of F and T for equilibrium. F right here and T is right here. So basically, they're telling us that this angle is 90 degrees. Take theta equal to 90 degrees. The first thing um, I would do is I would find this angle. Let's call this angle phi and let's call this angle theta. And you can tell that theta, which is equal to 90 degrees, is equal to phi plus beta. So, to figure, phi is very easy to figure out. You can calculate it by doing the tangent inverse of 3 over 4. 3 over 4. So phi is equal to 36.9 degrees. And you know that uh, phi plus beta is 90. So if you solve for beta, you find right off the bat that beta is equal to 90 minus phi, which is equal to 53.1 degrees. So now that I have the angles, the problem becomes much easier. You know that the sum of the forces in the x is zero. Let me actually write the angles on my diagram. 36.9 degrees and beta is equal to 53.1 degrees. Okay, so the sum of the forces in the x is zero. So f is going towards the left. So negative f cosine of 36.9 degrees plus t because t is going towards the right cosine of 53.1 degrees is equal to zero. So that means that point, this is point six T and this is negative point eight F is equal to zero. So point six T is equal to point eight F. This is an equal. Therefore, F is equal to 0.75T. This is my first formula. My second formula, I need two formulas because I have two variables. Uh, no formula, I'm sorry, equation. The, my second equation I'm going to find by uh, doing the sum of the forces in the Y, which is zero in statics. So in the y, I got this force, which is 9k minus f sine of 36.9 degrees minus t sine of 53.1 degrees is equal to 0. They're both going down, so they're both negative. So this is 9k minus 0.6f minus 0.8t. So I'm going to solve for F is equal to zero. So if I solve for F, I get that F is equal to 15 minus 1.333 T. This is my second equation. I know that F is 0.75 T and F is also equal to 15 minus 1.333 T. So I set them equal to each other. One is equal to two which means that 0.75t is equal to 15 minus 1.333t. So when you solve for t, you're going to get that t is equal to 7.2 kilonewtons. And then you plug t into this equation, it's easier than the other one. And you're going to get that f is equal to 5.4 kilonewtons. Final answer for T, final answer for F. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.